YouTube what is going on guys and welcome back to another video now I haven't been putting out gameplay videos of this but you've seen it in the title season 3 is maxed out baby season 3 we got that every season so far has been maxed out but we will actually talk about it right after this Alright guys, we are back now like I said season 3 has wrapped up today is the final day for those of you who have played who are playing Rogue Company or who do play Rogue Company I should say go on ahead this is the last day for you to wrap up season 3 if you haven't gotten those last season rewards go on ahead and go grab those okay because now starting tomorrow November 9th after this video okay tomorrow november 9th sinister shadows season four will be coming out like i said i've maxed out every season battle pass since it first started this is going to be a staple on the channel you know i gotta do it big you know i have to all right now a lot of you may be saying that this game is dead but hey I still play and I'm still good at it, all right? So, with that being said, I've decided to take the liberty to show you over there on that side, where whichever side it may be on, you will see the battle pass is maxed out. Your boy did his thing. Your boy did his thing, okay? Go on ahead, check out that battle pass. I know you've seen that hot talent outfit. That thing is heat. Now, I've already peeped what the new outfit is going to be for the next season, all right? Kestrel got some heat coming, and I hope that's I hope that's the last outfit, because Kestrel looks heat for the season four Sinister Shadows. But what I wanna do is, instead of giving you the gameplay videos, because we haven't been doing a bunch of those, I'm going to start bringing you the statistics of none other than me nightmare and how i do in this game all right so without further ado let's go on ahead and throw that up now you feel what i'm saying go on take a look at the statistics as we go on ahead and i'm gonna chop it down for you and what we're going to do is when season five comes out all right we're going to do comparing from that season on, okay? We cannot do it right now because I, I don't know where I started for season three, okay? But we could definitely do it for season five, or should I say season four and up, all right? So, with that being said, with the statistics over there, all right, let's get started. Let's let's chop it up. See what, what's going on with your boy, you know what I mean? I've broken down the best statistics of the game all right and how i do all right so without further ado let's hop right into it the first thing i want to tell y'all is your boy is level 136 all right so i have been putting in work with this game but i do not play every single day all right so most of this stats i know it's going to sound a little wonky for the simple fact that i state that i played since it first came out all the way up until now but that is excluding an everyday playthrough all right i do not play this game every day and i have not been playing this game for about a couple months now for the simple fact of the matter i've been hooked on skyrim i shouldn't say a couple months i should say probably like a few months maybe maybe one or two you feel what i'm saying but i have not played this game for a minute all right i've been hooked on skyrim and the skyrim video is going to be dropping tomorrow all right so be on the lookout for that all right but with that being said let's go on ahead and take a look at season three stats and where we end with season three all right so that we can give a little you know what i mean landmark as to where we're going to be in comparison when we start season four and on all right so let's take a look at the damage okay your boy has a damage alone all right of three million three hundred and sixty four thousand three hundred and ninety one that's a lot of damage all right that is spectacular damage if you ask me now let's actually talk about average damage for those of you who do not know what average damage is that is the average of all the characters that you have used so far in role company averaged out with their damage and then 
divided by the number of characters, okay? And that average damage is 3,327,785, okay? Which is pretty good pretty good if you ask me because the simple fact of the matter that that means i'm hitting pretty high damage with each character that i've used so far okay for it to be away a little bit from the actual damage as a whole versus ever that's that's i would say that's pretty good all right now i know a lot of y'all may be like uh, uh that's that's weak listen listen all right see me on the game all right let's talk about headshots all right your boy got 21,317 headshots now i know that's not a lot but that's a lot you know what i mean that's a lot you know and especially i consider these stats pretty well for myself because i'm not good at gun games like that i'm not wonderful i just learned how to really get my sensitivity to work for me and how to get my shots right for me you feel what i'm saying so i can't really speak for anything else i can only speak for my own stats all right let's get into the downs all right downs is looking kind of crazy you know what i mean but your boy got 15,636 downs as you guys can see on there and i'm doing my thing I'm doing my thing. You feel what I'm saying? 15,000 downs. I'm doing my thing. All right. Now, this is where it really gets interesting. And I feel as though I'm going to have a lot of flack for this and a lot of praise for this. This might be the one that's a little controversial stat. This stat right here, I believe is controversial for any gun game. Call of Duty, Halo, Battlefield. You know what I mean? You name it. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like this one stat is controversial through any gun game and that is your kill death ratio now in this game they're going to call there's not necessarily a kill death ratio for the simple fact of the matter that you could take somebody else's kill and it would count you feel what i'm saying but in this game downs if you if you do not realize by now downs are way more important than eliminations aka kills downs are way more important because the simple fact that you drop that character you feel what i'm saying you're the one who made that character go down okay whether you eliminate them or not i don't really look at it as a big deal because it's like okay i could down a character but my teammate could come and kill him you feel what i'm saying and i don't really find that as much as a good statistic so that's why i really base it around the downs okay so downs versus death ratio or down and death ratio is 1.5 okay for those of you who are into the call of duty and really into your kill death ratio let me know because me personally i feel as though that's that's pretty darn good you feel what i'm saying now, i could be wrong because i've seen a lot of people have a kill death ratio of 1.2 0.98 you feel what i'm saying I've, I've seen people in that range you feel what i'm saying and um but for 1.5 and give you the whole number 1.541 all right but overall 1.5 i i got to say that's that's pretty much hitting my shots that's that's pretty much hitting my shots you know what i mean getting the downs maybe i would give an estimate of between 3 to 5 downs for every death that I take, okay? Now, I could be wrong. For those of you who are more of a mathematician than me, because um, I, I do love math, but I don't feel like doing it, um, go ahead, average that out. Let me know in the comment section below whether or not that is cool, you feel what I'm saying? Because I personally feel like I'm doing a good job. I'm doing a good job. Revives, all right? I'm not really a revive kind of guy, you know what I mean? But that's not to say that i don't help out my teammates you feel what i'm saying because when the revive is there oh i'm going to get it and i'm going to make sure that it gets off you feel what i'm saying but as far as my character is concerned i have 1429 revives okay and that is including a little bit of saint but saint being the healer of rogue company most of my heals don't come from saint okay most of them come from maybe scorch or even maybe kestrel as well okay and then maybe coming in third place would probably be lancer all right so those three really average out the amount of revives that i take and saint might be fourth in that runner up you feel what i'm saying and victories as a whole okay i 
have 522 victories. We're going to try and get that number up to around, mm, I'd say 700 uh, by the end of season four. Let's, that's going to be the goal, all right? We're going to try and get 700 um, more, vi like, we're going to try and get overall 700 victories, okay? With with that being said, that means that I'm going to have to get uh, one, 178, you know what I mean? 178 more victories in order to, to cap that that 700 to get there so we're definitely going to have to put in some work so 178 more victories for season four in order to get to that 700 because i definitely want to give a goal throughout all of this um so i want to give the the victories to 700 and i'm sorry about the the noise in the background you know what i mean but other than that um this has been season three stats okay for those of you that do play Rogue Company, please do let me know what you guys do in the comment section below. I do read every comment and I do actually reply to every comment for those of you that are wondering. Oh my goodness, that's uh. But anyway, like I said, I do respond to every comment comment okay so please do comment what you got in the comment section below and i will get back to you but guys this has been season three season three is wrapping up today is the last day to get those rewards okay today is the last day for the battle pass okay because tomorrow look out for the update tomorrow season four sinister shadows is bound to drop guys if you enjoyed this video you already know what to do don't be afraid to hover and haunt that like button subscribe today to become part of the soul gang team nephilim let's get it type that notification bell to know each and every time that i'm uploading videos and guys remember to be good at the game you gotta kill with skill and until our next nightmare peace guys